Praise God. I wasn't going to make another one today. But, uh, amen. Sorry about that. A little bit of a mess. But, uh, listen. I pray that you have just a little, little bit of wisdom to recognize when you see pride and you see it being lifted up. Listen, folks, these comment sections are not for me or you or just anybody. They're for the body to share with one another. When we get to the point that not, we're not willing to receive the counsel of the Lord through the many-membered body, I assure you there's a problem. And if you can't see that and understand that, and you keep visiting these videos that will not allow you to post comments, that pen to proving, then you're just, you're meant to go the way you're supposed to go then, brother. That's just the way it is. When I, if I get to praise Father God forbid that that should take place in my life but if I should ever get to the point that I don't believe that I need the counsel of my brothers and my sisters that it's not a many membered body and that it's all about me and what it is that I'm saying then please somebody come over here and take me out of my misery because I'm surely better off dead into this world in the natural that my soul might be saved, than it is I continue on into hell fire. You know, I just went back. I, I Listen, there has been no lack of love shown and expressed to Sister 777 AEJ. No lack. None whatsoever. I've listened to the comments. I've watched them. And what I, care, I dearly loved the most wasn't so much about what she had to say because like I told you, any of you who have studied the Word of God, 99% of what she said was the Lord speaking through her. He's already written in the Word of God. Come on. The couple of times that the Father by grace spoke through the mouth of a babe, Amen, Jesus. But then she got lifted up in it. That's what pride will do. It was a trial and a testing of her heart. And from what I can see right now, it don't look good. I was going to say was the thing that I dearly loved the most was listen to the rest of the brothers and sisters sharing. That's what's important. Our differences will work, work their way through. If you really genuinely have the love of God in your heart, I guarantee you, I don't care what it takes or how long it takes, but if you'll not turn away from one another, the Father will open up that peace and that communion, communion between you. The only way that would not happen, the only way that would not happen, is that one or the other has turned away. We mentioned this. We mentioned this. Listen, listen to me now. Now it's we. Okay, we mentioned this. Amen, <laughs> Jesus. Father, God forgive me. The Father mentioned it. And I say we because I, you know, it's, it's just becoming that way. It is we. It's us. It's our Father. So, yes, we just got done talking about, amen, the kingdom family. And that, yes, you're going to run and butt heads with each other. 
But if it's in love, I guarantee you an hour and a half later, a day and a half later, two, three days, two or three weeks, somewhere along the line, amen, Jesus, the Father will open up a door between the two of you to begin to start to grow on some common ground. Now some of us, and we had to share this about the different colors of the breastplate. They're just different lights coming from different angles. Different hues. Don't be offended by each other. Step back and say, okay, well, brother or sister, I don't really see what you're saying right there right now, but I'll get back with you. <laughs> okay? I'll get back with you. And go digest some of that stuff. Don't come out here. Oh, my God. You know... <laughs> It's just another lie of this harlot system that the sword was ever supposed to be used against one another in the first place. It never was. It was always to be used in defense of the enemy trying to come in among us. That's what the discernment was all about. Now this is, okay, see now this is another part. Where we're in disobedience right now, we, you're going to have to come out of it because we don't come out of these different little areas that I'm, the Father is sharing with us at this hour. Then we're going to get left out. And one of these areas is the fact that you are not all matured at the same level. And some of you who are just now coming into this really need to keep your comments down to a minimum. This is not to say that out of mouths of babes shall I speak to these my people. I'm not saying that. But that is few and far between. It is not the rule. The rule in kingdom order is in the state of maturity spiritually. That we need to give way and bow down in submission, in obedience to Christ in each of us, Honoring the Father and the Son in regards to the level of maturity some of these sons and daughters have come into. And if you don't learn that order, and if you don't come into subjection and submission and obedience to it, I assure you, you will not enter in. You will be left out there in that outer court minister, whether it's the 60-fold or the uh, 30-fold, and you will not enter in under that annoying of the sons and daughters. You will not. There is no self left to come into this. And I, <laughs> trust me, when you are in such a state of rebellion that you are not able to listen to one who has been in that word and led by the Father to mature, so that he has a better understanding, or she does. Listen, brother, I, I'm sharing with a couple of sisters right now, all right? They got me over the barrel on the word. I don't care what you say. Amen, Jesus. They know that word. You're not going to go there. But you know what? They treat me as an equal because in the love of the brethren, they understand that we're not all going to have the same depth of knowledge, but in the areas of the maturity of the Spirit of God and how He's been able to work it in and through us, we're all equal heirs. So they receive me, and amen, Jesus, you know what? They're able to do with that word what I couldn't do. What I speak in... Uh, I don't know how to explain to you that the word has literally taken its place in the revelation in me and through me. I don't know how to explain that to you. I know that I was given what I needed to know to allow the work that needed to be done in me and through me to be done. But the depth of the knowledge and the wisdom and the uh, revelation and all that other stuff, the Father never took me there because I never needed to go there. I, I never needed to. I needed to go to where He would have me to do to work out the purpose He would have to be worked out with me for whatever it is, I believe, is getting ready to take place. And to that, to that degree, there's absolutely nothing that any of these sisters say to me that the Holy Spirit doesn't bring to my mind, my remembrance, a scripture that has something to do with that. 
Some are just able to have a more in-depth, detailed uh, uh, ability to scripturally take what is being said from a brother who may be just, okay, talking in the spirit. They're able to pick up on that and put it into literal scriptural understanding for your benefit, for your benefit. And when they do this, you need to allow, you need to give way to them. Because you've got to get to the point in your maturity where it's no longer about self. It's no longer about the individual. Listen for the Word. Listen for the Father. Listen for the Spirit. See no man in the flesh. That's what that is about. So once again, I will warn you to stay away from videos that post comment pending, that will not allow for comments to come in. All of this blocking, stay away from it. It's not of God. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now this is that line that has to be drawn and the standard that needs to be raised. Some of you are going to catch a hold of this and some of you will not. There's absolutely nothing anyone else can do except for as always be in prayer. That as many as can be saved shall be saved. But beyond that, my brother, judgment is coming. Okay? And I just want to say to you that believe that all mankind is going to be saved. I don't know. To me, it's a tra contradiction to the Word of God. The Father Himself wished that all men would be saved, but He knew that that would not be the case. Now, unless you want to contradict the Word of God and the Father Himself saying to us that all men would not be saved, then that's on you. That's on you. I'm not going there, because I believe what the Father says. I accept it, and that's the way it is. Amen, Jesus. Not all men will be saved. It was his desire that they be, but he knew that that would not happen. So, just wanted to put that out real quick, because like I said, I was going to go over and I saw she had a, a video up. And I, I, we should all be ready to welcome back in to the fold. Any and all who have gone off in the stray. And no one has not gone off astray at one point in time in one way or another. We all have. And those who have matured in the Word understand that most importantly about themselves, first and foremost. He who is forgiven much, loves much. And if you really understood the truth of that, my brother, you'd know that the mercy and the love that the Father has shown to that individual who had to be forgiven much is then in turn able to cause that person to love much. But at the same time, the way he and she learned it was through the chastisement and the whippings of the Father in their lives. So, I love you guys, and uh, I pray to the Father that uh, you begin to start to come into this in obedience. I can assure you what's being said to you right here, right now, is going to continue to be said to you throughout this entire next 42-month period, or three-and-a-half-year period. Three, three-and-a-half years. As I've said before, I believe this is the finished week. I've talked to you about Daniel. I told you that Daniel's prophecy is 70th week cannot take place until the Messiah's week has been finished. It was cut short to allow for the period of salvation, for the period of grace. It does not say it was finished. It says it was cut short. And when I say common sense, I'm talking about spiritual common sense. Not natural common sense, but even if I was to do that, the Lord Jesus took natural things in the earth and used spiritual, brought out spiritual truths. So again, don't get hung up on the semantics thing. My brother, that's a believer gave a thing about that semantics. 
Just let it flow from your hearts in love. It's the Spirit of God working in us and through us. Who do you think you are, anyway? <laughs> Who do any of us think we are? Amen? Okay. So, anyway. That's the way it is. That's just the way it is. I love you folks. Uh, I don't know that i got much more to say. Oh, yeah, I mentioned something that I started to say in the earlier video here today, and I usually don't like putting out two, because what happens is, is the last one becomes the first one everybody uh, listens to, and then uh, they never get the, the first one, which to me, I'm sorry, was the most important one. But either way, six of one, half dozen of the other. I just trust you guys that you're going to go ahead and listen and receive and uh, share back. Once again, this channel will always be open for all the brethren to share with one another and come to know each other in the Lord. That's the point and the purpose of it. Not that I got... Listen, I read them over... Sometimes I'll give an amen and a hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Maybe throw in a little this or something of that. But mainly, I just love watching, hearing what you guys got to say and how you're sharing with each other. It's a beautiful thing. When it really starts to roll, it's something else. Amen? So, it's to edify the body. Not me. Not the individual. <laughs> I don't know where she got it at, but... I guess she's looking for a format, she says, that uh, I suppose that she can somehow share this wisdom <laughs> that God has given her, amen? I said, well, Brother Andrew, isn't that what you're saying regarding to that one individual? No, brother, that ain't what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that God himself is going to speak to that individual. Now, how is that different than prophecy? I don't know. We're going to have to see and find out. But I think there's a world of difference in regards to that. I think it has to do with the power and the authority of God by which that the Father speaks through that individual. There won't be any question in your mind. We're just being prepared for that right now. So we're able to receive it by faith. That may be what's behind a lot of the uh, movement of the Spirit in prophecy at this hour. Just to really to get us used to actually believing that the Father is going to speak through uh, an individual. Now you know it's all true. Uh, 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 some of you may have a little bit of a problem with natural Israel and spiritual Israel. And so when you see uh, the two witnesses standing in Jerusalem, you may assume that they both stand up in natural Jerusalem. And I'm not going to say that in the natural, that may not be true. But I don't believe it's exclusive to the natural. I believe that the spiritual comes forth first in the end, rather than the natural. As you know the word says, first the natural, then the spiritual. This is what I believe Jesus was telling us would change about was that which was natural would now be last and that which was spiritual would then be first and that's why I believe it's spiritual Israel and a witness given to her who stands up in heavenly Jerusalem which is one of those two witnesses so you might want to take another look at that and see if you don't see what I see. It does not specify what Jerusalem the two witnesses stand up in. And if what I believe is true, which I don't know how it can't be, it only stands to reason that the spiritual witness that comes forth just before the tribulation begins is for the sake of bringing forth repentance to the natural branch that she might be grafted back in. And in that grafting back in, she then comes forth in that witness. Because as I've said before, although there are mouthpieces, the witnesses themselves 
I believe, are the spiritual body of Christ and the natural Jerusalem, Israel. One is the elect and the other is the election of grace. Like I said, the mouthpiece is not the trumpet. The body is the trumpet. Getting this? <laughs> okay. I love you guys. See you later.